some of the greatest barbecuers and uh, pit masters from around the country participating. Barbecue's off the hook. Hey, Guy Fieri here at Guy Fieri's Stagecoach Smokehouse. We came back bigger and badder. I got some of the greatest pit masters and barbecue chefs from around the country serving up great food for everybody. You guys got to come take a look. Wait till you see what's coming out today. That's a lot of hog. Wings are crushing. And that is some real deal brisket. Look at that, folks. Does anybody want to eat? This weekend in desert, Coachella is out and Stagecoach Country Music Festival is in. One thing that goes hand in hand with country music and maybe a cold one is barbecue. You know it, Guy Fieri returning to Stagecoach and the festival grounds with a 40,000 square foot smokehouse and a group of hand selected pit masters, including our next guest. A local guy born and raised in Compton, but spent summers in Texas. We are so thrilled to welcome Kevin Bloodsoe. Hi, Kevin. Thank you so much for joining us today. We uh, like the coordination with the Hawaiian shirts. Yes. <laughs> that looks good. We, me and Kevin, me and Kevin talked about it beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I eat every breakfast at Blood So. Oh yeah. Yes, I'm, uh, I, I, I hide it well. I'm sure Kevin does too. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't hide it well. <laughs> I, I was telling you before the interview, I'm just such a huge fan. American Barbecue Showdown. Easily, easily my favorite binge during the pandemic. And it was so cool seeing you, an LA barbecue legend, as one of the judges. I love the show because no matter if you're a nice person, you could be that little lady, you could be a age old pit master, the food does the talking. And I have to know, will there be a season two? Yes, they were already done already. What? Yes. Okay. Is that an announcement here? Or do people already know? You just are <laughs> not This is a know. big deal. Uh, all I'm gonna say is already done, and I look forward to it sometime this summer. Oh my goodness! Do you keep in contact with any of the contestants from the season oh, we haven't yeah. seen or the first one? Yes, Rashid is like like I said, he calls me his pops. Uh, oh, I love it. Bo right. In fact, I'm doing a big event in uh, Corsicana, Texas. Rashid is coming down. Georgia is coming down to uh, cook cook with me at the uh, event I'm doing. I'm doing a big book signing in Texas, and they all are coming down to cook with me. So, uh, you know, we des develop some real good relationships off that show. Okay, so people at home know the joke, Katie Laysom. Yes. Uh, my Instagram handle is KTLA Sam. And I was on, I was watching one of Rashid's live, uh, just like, he was barbecuing and talking, and yeah. I joined the live, and he said, oh, well, hello to you, Katie Laysom. <laughs> <laughs> and so now they call me that, because, and it started with Rashid, because I'm just such a big fan That's of the great. show. That's great. Yeah, anyway. yeah he's in, he, Rashid, Rashid is incredible. So I cannot wait to head out to Georgia, try some of his food, too. Well, and this weekend, you're going to be on stage with a different celebrity, Guy Fieri, at Stagecoach. Tell, Stagecoach, tell us what's happening uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, uh, this this week we're representing. Um, I'm down here now, getting everything ready. We got about 800 pounds of pig coming in. Wow. We're going to hog, showing them how we do it, uh, Texas and LA style. Uh, like I say, out here with some big shots, but you know we here to always keep LA on the map and let them know LA got some good barbecue too. So uh, we're gonna represent and put it down and uh, hang out with guy. He's a cool dude. Always have been. Always showed us much love since diners drive in and dive love and everything that. else. I can't wait to work with him. Well, you are Mr. L.A. Barbecue. I mean, uh, like it or not, I think that you know you have you have been the guy, the top dude for a long time, and you yeah. brought some of your incredible food here to us today. We can show you a little bit of the spread oh that we goodness. we already got into it, and we were like, <laughs> we have to eat this now because if we try to eat this during the actual segment, we're, we're gonna we're gonna just be chewing the whole time because it's so delicious. So Kevin, we have we were debating: are these pork ribs or are these beef ribs? What did we get here today in studio? Well, once y'all get through eating them, I'll tell you what they are. Not for they pork ribs. <laughs> <laughs> They're the biggest pork ribs ever. Yeah, they pork pork spare ribs. So uh, we want to make sure you guys get some meat on the bones. Oh, they were so delicious. And, you got and this. these are these are spicy. These are spicy, spicy guys. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the baked beans, the sides. Uh, Robert's favorite. Uh, uh, Mac and cheese. It was good, solid mac and cheese too, man. I like it like that. Not too creamy. Uh, just enough cheese. It's excellent, dude. I love it. Glad you enjoyed it. So we're celebrating Robert's birthday today, which uh, thank you so much for being part of that <laughs> celebration, uh, blood soap birthday celebration. Um, Robert, you say you have good luck with what, the stock market when you eat barbecue? You know, every time I add, I tend to order barbecue, Bitcoin tends to rise up, uh, tends to do good. Uh, so we're hoping today's the same thing because right now the markets aren't doing too Don't high. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make Kevin complicit in your, in your scam, in um, your Ponzi scheme. 
I have Send a me some of that round fucking note. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you said you're in the desert right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm here now. We uh, had to do a few events and a couple of meetings here. So we just came up early to get ready to uh, show up and show out on Saturday. Mm. Okay, I'm from the I'm from the desert. That's my hometown, and I'll be at Stagecoach. So I'm gonna come find you this weekend. Um, where are you staying? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Where am I at? The, I think we have the Renaissance. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know. I yeah. do know the Renaissance yeah. Indian Wells yeah. over Give on the Give her about uh, two and a half hours. She'll be knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah. Come on, some big beans. We can start partying tonight. Y'all come on down. Oh, That's heck yeah. yeah. I would love to. Well, do you want to ask? I know I know this is, you, you got the man on the phone I know, here. I'm so excited. Okay, so at my house, we are amateur Traeger pit bosses. I don't know if that counts <laughs> as a pit. Um, so we do tri-tip, we do brisket, the coffee rub, the garlic rub. I just would love a very basic do and don't for all the amateur pit bosses out there. Uh, I always say, learn your fire, learn your heat. Don't try to go too wild on it at first. Learn how to master chicken, and after that, you can master anything, mm. you know? Uh, I always tell people, remember with tri-tip, it's a steak. It's not really for smoking, it's for grilling. You can hit it with a little smoke at the beginning, but then grill it. Uh, brisket is low and slow. Some people do uh, uh, salt, uh, fast on it. Is that uh, Guy Fieri calling you? <laughs> yes, learn your pit. I'm sorry. Tell Guy, tell guy, tell guy you'll get back to him in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is, there's all such good things. I know, I'm taking I, notes over but here. But you know what's like, so funny okay. is like, we're basically asking you, you know, this clearly very, very skilled thing that very you do. Very complicated. Can you yeah. just break it down to us in like a quick 15 <laughs> second soundbite so we can know how to do it better? But I like that. You master chicken, then you can do anything else. I know, and I've done it backwards. Yeah. Low right. and slow, six foe. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at some some uh, chickens right now, I believe. Um, yeah, those, no, those are chickens. Those are turkeys. Oh, shoot. Turkey. See, I don't know. Uh, Cornish see? game head, turducken, who's to say? Um, yeah. But these are these are from some of your restaurants. I know that there's a blood so is uh, very close to our station here on La Brea. Uh, there's a few locations. Where can people check it out in Southern California if they, for some uh -huh. reason, haven't been? Uh, you can go to blood. So you can go to like I say, six oh nine north to North La Brea. We're at the Proud Bird. We're in uh, L.A. Bank Stadium. Uh, you can catch us all over L.A. Just holla at us. And mm. we're also, if you go over uh, down under, you can catch us in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, wow. All right. International quick weekend, fame. A little quick weekend vacation. That shot cutting in. What, was, that, brisket. was that brisket? I think so. That was a brisket cutting it with a butter knife. Woo! Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, before we go, I do have to ask, because you grew up here in Southern California, obviously Texas is where your roots are. Um, what inspired the cookbook after so many years of being blood so, having the name of yeah. barbecue in Southern California? LA's barbecue. Uh, uh, just so many people, we would sit back and drink Hennessy's and they would hear the stories, Noah, <laughs> the Luke and James store, and everybody used to say, man, you need to write a book. Uh -huh. we like to live longer, but they was really the inspiration for writing that book and you know telling the story about, you know, the family, where I'm from, and all that. So I, uh, I was blessed to write it, and it's doing awfully well. That's amazing. So this is a cookbook that you'll get not only some great recipes, but also some uh, fun stories to tell on the porch with a yes. glass of Hennessy. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that. And look at this shrimp. Is that what that is? This is like a shrimp. Yeah, that's a shrimp. Oh my god. Oh, fried goodness. oysters. Oysters Rockefeller. Is that what that is? I'm trying to see it. Oysters barbecue feller. Oyster we changed the name. Barbecue Ooh. feller. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is such a treat to have Blood Kevin Bloodsoe on with us today on Five Live. Not only on Five Live, but to celebrate Robert's birthday. Woo! Yes, very good. <laughs> no, no, Robert's favorite is the barbecue. You can find more tips and tricks in Kevin's new book, Bloodsoe's Barbecue Cookout. That's out now. See him live at Stagecoach this Saturday. Kevin, last or two years ago, I think, I missed guys. He was pouring tequila shots for people. Yeah. And my friends yeah. were taking selfies doing tequila shots. Are we going to be doing that with you on Saturday? Oh, we're going to be doing that in Hennessy and everything oh. else. And I have a couple of rubs for you to take back home with you, Samantha. Okay, I'm finding you on Saturday at the 40,000 square foot smokehouse. And if you can't make it out there, visit barandq.com or follow on social media for more information on Kevin Bloodsoe and his restaurants. Kevin, Appreciate thanks you. so much. See you next time, thanks Kevin. For me. Appreciate Happy it. Birthday, Happy, Happy birthday, Robert. Happy birthday, Robert. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Five Live right after this. Right, so Ooh, I'm gonna get some, some of that. I know, I'm going back for more. Cheese.